Hey folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to color match your, your cutout images to match our digital backdrops. Here we're working in our Brick Ivy digital backdrop. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got my cutout photo layer here. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate that. So you can either drag it down to this little um, duplication or you can just right click and choose duplicate layer. So then we're going to go up and choose image adjustments and come right down to color match or match color. So the first thing you want to do is choose the source that we want to match it to. So um, we're going to choose the, the file we have open, which is the green ivy PSD. And then we want to choose the layer within that file. And of course, this um, we want to match it to the background. So let's choose the background layer here. And you can see how it makes some color shifts already. Um, so then we're going to play with these three sliders here. Um, I don't think we need to do anything with the luminance because it's already bright enough. The color intensity, let's bump that up as high as we can go. And the fade, let's come somewhere in the middle, right about 50 I think would work. All right, you can see how it's already made some nice color adjustments. So let's go ahead and click OK. And we can further edit this down um, by playing with the fill on the layer. So let's bring this fill down to about 50. And I think the next thing I would do is probably add um, a curve adjustment layer. So if we come down to our adjustment layers, um, let's add curves. Now we only want to affect this layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we are going to create a clipping mask so that the curves only affect the layer that were the layer below it. Um, so what I will do is maybe bump up the midtones somewhat, just to get a little bit more lightness in there. And then to further refine this on the curves adjustment layer, let's go ahead and let's set that at about 50 to bring that down somewhat. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this tab group. And then if we look at the before and afters, I'm going to shut off our adjustment layers. So there's the before where you can see sort of an overall uh, red color cast. And this is these are our color matching layers. And you can see how it really sort of um, fits her in there very nicely. The colors match much better. Uh, and that's it. It's really a step worth taking so that you can um, have much more convincing composites. Mm -hmm.